All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, here's the heavyweight contender, Francis Ngannou, DC. Prevailing wisdom is that eventually he's going to find his way back into a UFC title fight. Had the first fight against Stipe that didn't go his way. This is as big a power threat as this division really has ever seen. You don't lose. You get an opportunity to learn. Right. And Francis Ngannou learned from the fight with Stipe Miocic at UFC 220. And it was evident when he made his way back to the octagon. Curtis Blades was a guy that could employ the same type of strategy as Stipe Miocic did. But Francis disposed of him in the first round. Cain Velasquez was another guy that could employ that strategy. Francis ex disposed of him in 28 seconds. He's only getting better because he has not been fighting for very long. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Ngannou is three years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 10 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, surreal Bogomolka! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a boxer holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Francis, the Predator! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? All right, so we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. Uh -huh. This one will be fought in the pocket two guys will stand in front of each other they will trade punches they will trade kicks it's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring we get it in the octagon tonight big call for Westland. now we get back to the ring Finding the range with relative. Oh, oh big punch land. Lands a good combination. <laughs> Just over three minutes to go round one. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And he landed the right hand there. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, a huge block there. Nice punch there by Ngannou. 
So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Francis Ngannou. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, single collar tie here. Whiffs on the right hand. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, huge left hand for Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be in it. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath. Right. right? You hear a big exhale. Every time Francis loads up to do a finishing fight, you hear the crowd take all the air in yeah. because they're ready to explode. That's the type of performer, that's the type of fighter that Francis is. Oh, you heard a bat with a jab. Nice defense there. Huge block. Beautiful leg kick. Throw. Nice punch by Francis Ngannou. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like... Whoa! Whoa! Stuffs the gun in the round one. Oh. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. Do you see Takas through the replay? Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Ngana. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, collar tie. What a punch. Misses with the right hand. Big leg kick land. Gingano shot is blocked. Throws the left hand. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, that is a huge left hook from Francis Ngannou. Somehow, somehow. Oh, oh right there, the seminal blow of the fight. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that upset. Oh, big left hook there. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Ngannou. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Got a single collar tie. Oh, oh he's a bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Missed with that attempt. Double leg takes out attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now in the top position? All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. He got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Ooh, big shot lands. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. 
Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. volume of strikes and a good sign too doesn't seem to be slowing down now what's a straight connection right up the gut dc he's in a world of trouble now they say the straight moves are the ones that get their first and it got right to the target and ganu gets caught with that punch trying to kick the leg out Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Unable to land with that punch. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent for a very back. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, he got him hurt bad! Punch coming, it's blocked. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Oh, huge right hand. Beautiful diving strike land. Super. Serve him up. We'll get him. Oh, he might be out. Back to the feet. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, and that one's not the head back. The referee has seen it. By TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 28 seconds of round number 3. Going the winner by knockout, Francis the Predator Engano. No shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking. Holy grail.